Good morning, everybody. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys and apologize for not answering comments recently. It's just been like a busy time of year, but I am starting to do it again. I'm waking up earlier so that I can spend at least an hour every morning answering comments. So make sure you guys leave a comment for me on this video and I will try to answer as many as I can. Friday, woo, week's over for like, I'm sure like some of you guys maybe. I know that some people work on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So to you guys, happy middle of the week. Yeah, it's gonna be a relaxing night for us because last night at Horror Nights, getting home a little bit later than waking up early and going to work, it's tiring. It's been a tiring week. Good news is, the week is over for us. And I got a three day weekend. Heck yeah. Oh man, it looks like Target has shunned off the Pokeballs. We're at Target, by the way. For a dollar, you two could have the tiniest milk bottle with a straw coming out of it. <laughs> with a spider on it. Florida, where we sell bathing suits year round. You know what I've always wanted? A sweatshirt with the year 1976 on it for no reason whatsoever. I like this kale shirt that looks like a Yale shirt. That's funny to me. We're at Publix now. Check these cups out for Halloween. They're awesome. Oh no, Peeps has weird flavors too. This Candy like... corn, caramel apple, and pumpkin spice mm -hmm. latte. Oh dear. Unlocking the door of weird flavors. Stop by Publix for some lunch and get a pub sub. This is the first time I've ever had this sub. It is a blazing buffalo chicken sandwich, which is like sliced chicken here. It's hard to see, but there's bacon on there and some sort of cheese that you can see a little bit right here. It is a mix between blue cheese and gouda, I think, and it looks delicious. And then they put a little bit of ranch on there. I can't wait to try this. It sounds like it's gonna be good. For dinner tonight, we picked up Culver's. These are cheese curds. It's a regular old french fries. I got a bacon Culver burger, and Jen just got a regular Culver's burger. Look at those cheese curds. We've been watching this movie on Hulu called Love and Mercy. It's got John Cusack in it, and what's the, what's the girl's name? Elizabeth Banks, Eliz sorry, Elizabeth Banks. And Elizabeth Banks, and it's the story of part of Brian Wilson's life. Actually, it's really interesting because there's two storylines. There is the storyline of Brian, younger Brian Wilson as he's like developing paranoid schizophrenia. And then there's the story of older Brian Wilson from like the like late 80s when he is like falling in love. I think it's with his current wife. And he's like going through this huge struggle with a person who is his legal guardian. It's interesting. It's a very interesting movie and you get to see how the mind of Brian Wilson, who is from the Beach Boys if you guys don't know, works in how he uh, develops some of the songs that he wrote. It's interesting to see and unfold on the screen. So I really like movies that are like this where they're based on a true story but they're like kind of, what do you call that? Like not glorified but like romanticized. But my biggest issue with it is now I just want to like find out a lot more about Brian Wilson. Like I wanna know more about him and his situation and what was going on and all this other stuff. And like in turn the Beach Boys too, they have a very interesting story. Like Denny Wilson, who is the drummer, was uh, good friends with Charles Manson. I think he died. Denny Wilson? Maybe. I know that Mike Love is still alive, the guy with the beard. Mm. I know he's still alive. Uh, and I know that Brian Wilson is still alive. I don't know about the other two Wilsons. Now we can look it up. I'm gonna find out. All right, so I just looked it up. Dennis Wilson drowned. It's a super complex story about him, like, going homeless and living a nomadic life and then, like, checking into a mental institution and then checking into a regular hospital and then checking out of that hospital, getting into a fight, and then checking into another hospital, checking himself out, and then going on, like, a drinking binge and then trying to dive into the marina where his yacht was to recover items he threw overboard three years prior and he ended up drowning. And then uh, I also looked up Carl Wilson. Carl Wilson uh, died of lung cancer. So Brian Wilson is the only Wilson left from the Beach Boys and Mike Love is the only other Beach Boy left. Pretty interesting because in this movie they kind of showed that Brian Wilson and Mike Love didn't really get along very much at all. They like had a big disagreement and uh, what's on now? It's got Josh Brolin in it. Something just started auto-playing. Oh, I don't know. I wonder what it is. This is exciting. I got really excited and then it turned out that it was the movie about George W. Bush titled W. Probably not gonna watch that one. Holy macaroni. I'm tired. <laughs> we watched that movie and then we put on 
a show about conspiracies of rock and roll, and I fell right asleep. Man, I'm just exhausted this week. So I am off to bed, and then we are gonna have a fun three days off together and like do some fun stuff. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.